you're looking at your free photo cartoon converter. Now what we're going to do is show you how to do this vid with a video. It's not, it's not difficult at all. And we'll pause between different steps. Now you had needed to have already taken a um, photo and put it on your computer. So I'm going to click over here. It says choose file. And I'm going to pause the computer so we don't waste time. Okay, I've already chosen a picture, and I'm going to click on Cartoon Eyes Online. What's nice is you can do this online, and it makes things really easy to do. Okay, now this is the person we're going to cartoon, okay? And you can adjust things over here, but you might not need to. Now I'm going to click on uh, New Cartoon just to show you what it looks like over here. And you adjust and you decide which one you want. Wait a few seconds while it comes up. Probably should have paused. There we go. Oh, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, it's a nice feature. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of this in, in a little bit. But let's scroll down and see some of the other things that you can work with. Okay, you make the decision of what you'd like. Now I like this one. Watch what happens when I click on this one. Okay, it's cartoon. Now we'll cover this up and I'll show you how to do that. And we'll take care of this. And that's that's pretty good too, isn't it? Okay, let's scroll down. Remember you have a lot of choices here that you can pick from. Let's look at this one. See if you like this one. Okay, <laughs> this is a good one too. All right. And like I said, we will adjust to see which one you like, okay? Um, so you pick the one you want, and let's say I'm going to pick this one. You can choose as many as you like. I'm going to pick this one just for the heck of it, and I'm going to click on my right button on my mouse and click on Copy Image. Then I've already opened up a Word document, and I'm going to place it in my Word document. I hit my Enter key a few times to create a little buffer and hit Control V to paste. And there we go. Now, what we can do to get rid of this, you can do that very, very easily. You would click on the word Insert. And we're going to click on uh, Shape. And I'm going to choose this shape right here. And cover it up. Okay, and then you can change the color of the shape and the outline by using um, this right here. I'm going to say uh, white for the outline, and we'll say white for the middle. Okay, and we can type, if you want to, we can type something in there. Now, for this picture down here, if you want to get rid of this, this is easy to do as well. In this case, I'm going to click on Insert again. But I'm going to use a text box, and I'm going to click on Draw a Text Box, and I'm going to make it cover this whole picture here. Okay, and in doing so, we'll make it a little bit larger. You might want to place something in there or type something, and you can change the background color, just like we said before. Here's your your fill. Okay, and I'm going to type in. Let me hit pause. Okay, I just typed a brief note there. I'm going to highlight it. Okay, go back home, make it bold, italic, and I can change the font a little bit larger if you want. Now remember, you can change the background color and the outline. And what we're going to do, just to show you, right, is we covered up that picture. So you might want to say something here. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. Now we place this into a um, let's put let's put something up here at the top. I'm gonna hit pause. Now you can do a lot with this shape, but let's say you don't want to. So I'm gonna bring the shape down here and hit delete and get rid of it. But what we can do again is hit your insert key text box, right? Draw a text box and put it over here and again you can type in something, a heading if you will. Let me hit pause. 
Okay, I said type in the person's name, and we can have, uh, we can fill it with, I don't think you want that. You want the, you want probably dark. The outline is white. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you want that black too. Okay. So you can play around with it and put it however you want or put the box back in and make it three-dimensional. It's your option. There's a lot of, a lot of things you can do. But the key is this is a very nice picture that you have here of uh, this person. Now, um, we're going to place a Word document telling you exactly what we just did. Okay? Okay, just to show you one more, we, we scroll back up to where it says New Cartoon. Okay? And what's nice about this, you'll notice, is the fact that we have just the cartoon image of her, so you only have to get rid of one part of it. And that's a, that's a pretty nice feature you see there. So that's pretty good too. And you just simply would right click and save image as, right? Or copy image, probably be best. And paste it either into a PowerPoint, slide, or Word document. Hopefully all that we have said makes sense. Thank you for watching our video.